If you have to drop off early, don't worry, we will send out the recording. So welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. Thank you again so much for joining us today. My name is Lauren Wells. I am one of the co-founders at 7E and I am so excited today to be presenting you. Well, I'm not going to be doing the presenting, but I am excited to partner with IRA Club and specifically Ramez Fakori here, who will be speaking all about self-directed IRAs and IRA Club and what it looks like to utilize a self-directed IRA. So I'm going to really quickly kind of walk through um, a little bit about 7E. If you're new, if you if this is your first webinar with us, just some of the highlights of who we are, what we do, and what we offer. So again, we're going to talk about 7E, then we're going to talk about IRA Club, you know, and the power really behind self-directed IRAs, and then we'll have some Q&A at the end. But like I mentioned, feel free to drop your questions in the Q&A so we can kind of go through them as we go. So great. So who we are and what we do, um, we are a real estate investment company based in Virginia. And we like to say we fix and flip mortgage notes. So we're investing in first position mortgage notes that are secured by single family homes throughout the United States with significant equity. So what we're doing is we're buying these loans at a discount. We're increasing the value by getting the borrower re-performing, so back on track. And then we are selling the loan for a profit back on the secondary market. That fix and flip analogy is really easy for people to typically understand because most people are familiar or have watched one too many HGTV shows about fixing and flipping homes. So that is a very brief summary of what we do, but we do have other webinars. You can check them out on our website or email us and we can kind of send you to them that really break down that process. So really our mission and part of the Reg A, so being open to accredited and non-accredited investors was through Chris and I's experience investing with self-directed IRAs, with cash, was we realized that there was not a lot of opportunities for people to have access and have available options. So available to people who are not accredited. So meaning you don't have to meet a certain income requirement or net worth requirement. And then maybe there were options available to those people, i.e. the masses, but the initial opt-in might've been 50 or 100K, which for someone who's just starting out is a lot. So really our mission at 7E was to create an investment vehicle that's typically you know, reserved for the ultra high net worth and you know, institutional investors and make it available to everyone at a low minimum. So giving, making it available and accessible to the masses. So with that, the Regulation A plus offering was born and it is again, open to accredited, non-accredited investors. We have a four-year term on that. The minimum investment is $5,000. So again, if you're just getting started and you've never invested in a you know alternative asset or something outside stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, 50K is a lot to throw into a deal for your first time. So, you know, 5,000 is our minimum. We do start offering bonus shares at 25,000 and then anywhere from an eight to 10% preferred dividend that is paid monthly, annually paid monthly. Let me clarify, not eight to 10% a month <laughs> <laughs> or else, man. <laughs> um, I'm there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, offering highlights. So this is open to IRA accounts, cash accounts. So qualified and non-qualified is kind of how those are categorized. Um, we do pay dividends monthly. So every month it's, you know, you tell us where you want your dividend send and it appears in your either IRA account or your cash account. Um, it is available. It is non a non-correlated asset class. So, you know, people are looking at the stock market, stressing out of the volatility, ups and downs. So really what we do is not correlated to the stock market um, at all. So Additionally, we have ample equity coverage. So a question that comes up a lot is, well, what happens if the value of the homes drop? We are looking at an LTV on our portfolio of about 50%, meaning the a 500K home would have to drop below 250 to, for us not to be covered. And that's the LTV. We're also buying these at a discount. So there's even a more of a buffer. And to kind of speak to what happened in 2008, where home prices fell, I think in the height of where they fell, it fell like 30%. So, and what we're seeing now is not a 2008, there is no lender induced kind of, this is not a lender induced recession. So just something that's really important to us is that collateral coverage. Um, 
This is not a blind pool. We have an active portfolio of just under 100 loans. That is, and we are constantly raising and deploying capital. Um, and then there are no fees. So we're, Chris and I coming to it as investors who were once very, not so long ago, sitting on your side of the table, looking and evaluating at tons of deals. We're constantly being feed to death, we say, you know, a management fee, an acquisition fee, um, an account fee. And so that 10% quickly becomes a 6% return. So again, we, no fees, all offering expenses are paid by the company. Um, and then for tax purposes, if this is a outside of your IRA, it is a 1099 dividend. So you may look into that. There might be some tax alpha there. Um, again, I'm not a tax professional, so please consult your CPU. And then our experience. So this isn't our first rodeo. Um, we've actually managed five previous offerings that have met or exceeded investor expectations. We have a vertically integrated team, meaning when you speak with us from onboarding as an investor to management, you know, you're knowing you can call Katie, you can call Tony, you're going to speak with Katrina. Um, so everything on the investor side is done in house, as well as our acquisition and asset management, which allows us to move through assets quicker. And that in turn produces a higher return. So, and then historically, we've never missed a distribution to our investors. And with that, if anyone heard this and maybe you want to learn more, you want me to send you some webinars, you want to schedule a call and speak with me, feel free, feel free to scan this QR code and it will take you to a link to book directly on my calendar. Um, I'd love to kind of run through a little bit more of it if you're interested in kind of the details or more behind the scenes or really have more of questions of what it's like to work with us. So with that, mm -hmm. I want to introduce the actual um, <laughs> presenter of the hour. <laughs> Thank uh, you. We have here Ramez Fakori with IRA Club. He is one of the vice presidents there and a wealth of knowledge, tons of experience um, in the industry. And I could say all great things about him, but I'll let him speak for himself. Um, honestly, I'm boring, Lauren. We had this conversation before everybody jumped on board. I mean, who cares about me? Let's get into the meat of everything. But before I do, let me start off by saying thank you for having me. You know, one of the things that I love about you, I do join some of your webinars. You always, you always make sure it's educational, you know, base first always, which is like one of the pillars of IRA club. And that's because we can never choose the investment for the investor. And all we could really do at the end of the day is just provide the information, educate people, let them think outside the box. Um, and that's what I'm here to talk about, right? It's the harnessing the power of your retirement account through self-direction. And just to be clear, for those of you that have maybe never heard of the word, the word self-direction, it just means control. Um, it's an adopted word within our industry. Um, and that's what we're going to, again, talk about. And like I said, a little bit about myself, vice president of IRA Club. I've been with the company now going on nine, almost nine years. Um my wife has been here actually for 14 years. She helped start the company with our president, Dennis Blitz. Most people don't know that. I actually don't even announce that, Lauren. Um, so that's kind of funny. But um, I do want to say something, Lauren, that I love, love, love that you guys offer a reggae. And when I first met you guys, I met you guys uh, at an event. And I travel all over the country, as you well know. I speak at 30, 40, 50 different events a year. We have a team of five that go everywhere you could possibly think of. And one of the hardest things to find is something that you could offer to non-accredited investors because more and more individuals are getting wind of self-directing and they're sick and tired of the volatility of the market, especially the last three years. Um, but that's the name of the game. You have to diversify your retirement por portfolio in order to stay ahead of it. And that's what IRA Club is. That's who we offer. I mean, that's what we offer our clients. Um, so the best analogy I was like giving Lauren is when they say, who is IRA Club? Many of you that are listening have IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, 457s, TSPs, HSAs, checkbook IRAs, checkbook solo 401k. I mean, I could keep going on the type of retirement accounts, covert L plans, right? All of that, which sits within, let's say, Fidelity, Vanguard, Schwab, I guarantee that 70% of you that are listening have an account with one of the big three. So when you think of IRA Club, I want you to think of the big three. And obviously there's 10,000 other brokerage firms that are out there. But what are the differences? They're only going to let you 
invest in what Lauren said, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and publicly traded REITs. That's all you could really do within your IRAs and 401ks versus the IRA club. We allow you to not only invest in the stock market, because remember, we do have that option for our clients. You could definitely still do the stock market with us, but we let you do alternative investments. We take the control away from the Fidelities, Vanguards, and Schwabs of the world, and we give it to our clients so you guys can invest in what you guys know and understand best. So IRA Club founded by Dennis Blitz, a very well-respected man in our industry, 2008. We have just over 15,000 clients. We manage $1.25 billion under administration. We've helped educate literally one-on-ones, probably 250,000 people, if not more. That number could be skewed a little bit, could be a little bit more. But I always like starting off, Lauren, with the simple question, how safe is your retirement account if we're looking at it today? Think about this. Every single thing is working against your retirement account. The stock market's volatile. We know that taxes will never be cheaper than where they're at right now. That I almost guarantee in the next 10 years, they're going to head in a different direction, which is going to be up. We know that, well, number one, we know that the pensions are no longer being offered, but not only are pensions not being offered, every single government program that we have is in complete shambles from Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. In fact, in the last two years, we've dished out about $2.4 trillion just in Social Security alone. So that's not a sustainable number, right? So we need to think about what's going to happen. The reports came out from the Treasury Department about two and a half, three months ago, that by 2030, we're only going to be receiving 80% of our Social Security. And the three proposals that they gave us, Lauren, you're going to die laughing, is raise taxes, which we know the wealthy are not going to want to do raise raise the minimum age to 70 or yeah that's that that's that's definitely not going to happen or they might really consider that and then lastly um uh we just talked about it lower the amount that people are about to get so uh that's the thing that is a big big um i hate to say the word <laughs> You have to really think about what the next eight years of your life looks like, especially as you're approaching retirement, because you can't live off of what you're currently making and have that Social Security check, which is a national average of under just under two thousand dollars because inflation isn't really going anywhere. OK, yes, it's trending in the right direction. It took over a year and a half to get it in the right direction. We still got to get it. But I don't know about you, Lauren. I don't think it's at 3%. I still go to the grocery store and I'm going shopping for my kid. And I, I walk out with two grocery bags. It's still $300. And I'm thinking to myself, what did I buy? So I don't know where these inflation numbers are. Think They think that they're kicking in. But the point that I'm trying to make is diversification is the key. The only way that you could protect your retirement account is to think not just the stock market, put all your eggs in one basket, but you have to look at alternative investments. That's the truth. And you also have to think double digit returns. Believe it or not, this is the actual breakdown of our IRA club members here from our 15,000 clients. So as you could see, the stock market's still there, but you still look at heavily favoring real estate syndications, private placements, U.S. bonds, oil and gas. But this is what we typically see. Crypto's a little bit in there, but this is the general you know, chunk of what we see here at the IRA club. Okay. Let me actually make a yeah. point. I think it's Please. really interesting when we talk about self-directed IRAs, you know, we're always talking about how it gives you the flexibility to invest in everything outside of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, but it doesn't take that ability away. And I think that's important because I think sometimes people think it's either or. So do I still need my Schwab account and a self-directed account? So I think it, I love this breakdown because it shows that people are still doing that. You still have the ability to do that. It's not something that goes away. You're just given more opportunity. But Lauren, you hit the nail on the head. It's not, like, We don't have a problem with the stock market. We like the stock market. We just don't think everything should be inside the stock market, in particular your retirement dollars. Um, but and, and keep in mind, IRA Club has a trading platform. So it's not that we're against it. We teach people how to utilize it to their advantage. It's like saying... 90% of millionaires, this is the truth, diversify not only their personal dollars, but they also diversify their retirement dollars in the same manner. I'm going to break down some of those numbers a little bit later. And as I mentioned, Lauren, this is where we met. I'm all over the country. 
country. You see my schedule. I know you're laughing because I'm never home. My wife wants to shoot me half the time. My kids are starting school, which that's the reasons why we like that, that they're <laughs> heading back, you know, and, and my wife could have a little bit of peace of mind, but our, it's, it's our challenges that we face within the self-directed space, because the one thing that I can't do for you is choose the investment. So it's always the same four topics of concern. It starts off with lack of education. I hate to say that most Americans are not financially literate within retire in the retirement space, but this one for me, Lauren, is the best of all. They learn it. They understand it. I'm too old. I don't think I should get started right now. And I look at them and I say, you know, the average American lives to almost 80 years old or better yet. When is it too ever too late to tell Uncle Sam to kick rocks? So it's like you got to think accelerating your wealth and it doesn't matter what age you start because those those are those funds are also passed along to your spouse and your heirs so it's about accelerating your wealth number two which is the biggest one and that's the reasons why i do personally love 70 it's not an endorsement i can't endorse any company is because you offer a reggae and that's one of the hardest things to get within the self-directed space and you know this lauren firsthand um so when i go to events and I ask individuals, how many of you, how many of you have retirement accounts? 95% of people in the audience will raise their hand. The next question is, how many of you heard of self-directed retirement accounts? And I would tell you about 60, 70% of the room will raise their hand. Five years ago, that was probably about one to two. I'm sorry, 10 to 20%. But the very next question is very alarming. How many of you actually self-direct? Out of a room of a thousand, maybe 3% of individuals will raise their hand. And then so how many of you know what how what self-direct is? I think that yeah, astounded me as someone who grew up in around real estate and around investing, you know, <laughs> this was something that, you know, you'd think a lot of, and then going into Silicon Valley and working in like software sales, you'd imagine that like these people are super smart. They're making a ton of money. How do they not know about self-direct there? You know, it blew my mind. It really blew my mind. It's it's not it's not it's it's not just something we're taught. I mean, think about it. You go to school. It's not something I ever learned in economics or, um, you know, something. When I sat at the dinner table with my mother and father, you know, we were always taught go to school, right? Get a high education, get a job, take the employer's four hundred one k match. But that doesn't work anymore because you're all you're still making that four to six percent return, and that does not keep up with the pace of inflation. But when I was trying to, the point that I was trying to make a split second ago with the Reg A and the events that I attend, it's it's the fact that they do know what a self-directed retirement account, but they can't identify the investment opportunity because you hit the nail on the head. When they go inside these events and there's all these sponsors out there, they only want to talk to accredited investors. And most Americans only have between forty to sixty thousand dollars inside their IRAs and four hundred one k's, so they're not willing to put their entire nut inside of one asset class, especially with a company that they don't know or just met. So in this case, non-accredited investors want to self-direct; they just don't, they can't identify or find these investment opportunities, and that's why I'm super happy that. You guys, as an organization, as a company, number one, educate individuals, but also offer something to non-accredited investors for a minimum of $5,000. And then lastly, uh, leading into who's taking all of the risk, Lauren, <laughs> you, you know, and I know that the only time that you get paid in the stock market within your IRAs or 401ks is when the market is up. If the market is flat or down, who's taking the risk, you or the broker dealer or the fiduciary? It's always going to be you. So not that we have a problem with fiduciaries and registered investment advisors. We actually have a thousand registered investment advisors that utilize our services. It's more so most fiduciaries don't know about self-directed retirement accounts. They actually create these artificial restrictions that say, no, you can't do that. You're going to cause a prohibited transaction or take a 10% penalty, or you're going to trigger a taxable event. That's not the case. When you have a 401k or IRA Fidelity, Vanguard, and Schwab, you are moving it over to the IRA club as a transfer from one custodian to another, from one trustee to another. So there's never a taxable event. But also understanding there is a little bit of a fear factor that individuals always talk about, but you have to take an educated, calculated risks. Otherwise, you're stuck where you stand. But it's also important to talk about the history of retirement accounts, okay? They were established back in 1974 because less and less pensions were being offered. 
We just didn't know that, like I said, every single government program would play a factor into all of this. But the only four things that you cannot invest in within your IRAs or 401ks are collectible, a life insurance, an S-corp, and any one of the disqualified persons. Who is that? Your spouse, your kids, your grandkids, um, your grandparents, and on. So think of like a linear ladder up and down. Those are the only people that you can invest with or within their deals. Everybody else is fair game, okay? So the term self-direction in Dennis's eyes, our president's company, is a gift, all right? I think it's one of the most underutilized gifts that we could offer to all our investors because it offers you true flexibility to invest in what you know and understand best. It's a flat fee model. So Jim, I know you threw me a question in there, and I promise I'm going to hit this a little bit harder because there is something that I will offer to all 70 clients, not to mention the tax-free or tax-deferred growth, because that's what all our IRA club members are thinking. How do I avoid this SOB that's always got his hands in his pocket? Half of what you make in your lifetime is always going to go to Uncle Sam. And the one thing that most people do not know, and something that I want to educate you on, is when you utilize retirement dollars to invest in the alternative space or the stock market, you eliminate all taxes across the board, state, federal, Medicare, Social Security. So in this case, I live in the great state of Illinois in Chicago. It's not a corrupt state at all. Don't laugh, Lauren. But <laughs> you're laughing. You yeah, are smiling. Yeah, got too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you were here. <laughs> anyway, it's a lot of history here, but I wanted to drive this home. So if you're looking at state, Medicare, Social Security, health, 14.5% right out the window is tossed out the door. Federal tax rate, everyone's federal tax rate is, is, is you know higher than the next. I just so happen to be in the highest one. So you're talking about eliminating almost half of what I make when I utilize retirement dollars, Okay. Now, you may live in Florida or Texas, right? Or you know, Alaska, there is no state in income tax. That's great. But some of you that are also listening just so happen to live in you know, California, that could go up to 13%. So it depends on what you live in. You have to play with these numbers. But the point I'm trying to make is you will literally accelerate your ROI 25 to 50% faster, depending on how much you invest and the time frame and what you're investing within your retirement account. So I want to show you the difference between when you're utilizing your personal dollars versus using traditional dollars versus using Roth dollars. The only difference between traditional and Roth is when are you going to pay the taxes? That's it. So traditional, let's just say you have an IRA. You could make a contribution of $7,000, $8,000 if you're over the age of 50. And that's a de tax deduction. So you're going to get the deduction up front. If you use the Roth, you're going to pay the taxes up front on the seed. Take a look. Simple math. If you had a rate of return of 10%, let's just say for the next 10 years, I always like to look at retirement accounts decade by decade when you're investing. And let's just say you had a $100,000 balance and you're making a contribution of 7000 Real easy numbers. Take a look at what your personal dollars, let's say at Chase, Bank of America, whoever you're using, would have gave you on the 100000 at a 10% return versus traditional versus a Roth, almost $120,000 when you utilize a Roth IRA. That's the power of compounding within a Roth, tax-free. So always consider utilizing Roth dollars. We're huge advocates of the Roth dollars. But who's in the driver's seat, Lauren? Who do you think's in the driver's seat? Is it us or is it them? I'm going to say, <laughs> go ahead. No, I was going to say, in fact, 97% of Americans hold their retirement funds in three places, only three places, banks, annuities, and obviously we know the stock market. Now, for the sake of time, Lauren, I'm not going to get into banks and annuities. Banks right now, I see some you know, bank CDs for 5%. You know, 5% you know, six months, nine months, 10 months. Annuities, however, have been very heavily marketed to, in particular, the fixed income annuity. And they're offering somewhere around 5%. And what they're going to guarantee you is, hey, you don't have to worry about the volatility of the market. You could go ahead and, you know, move your, you know, your $250,000 within your 401k plan over into annuity. And we're going to give you 5% for the rest of your life. But for those of you that are listening, Please tell me that you could do better than 
Lauren, what is your rate of return? You said eight to 10. And you're paying when monthly okay. distribution. Oh, oh, okay. Enough said. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut right over there. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with bank annuities and CDs. You know, that's to each their own. I'm not saying what to do with your money. I'm saying there are better options that are out there. You just have to educate yourself and see what's out there. Now, I will say this, of the bank CDs and annuities, that's only about 5 to 6% of the $44 trillion that's sitting out there. The majority of our money is sitting within the stock market, earning between 6 to 7% every 10 years. So that's what I'm talking about, diversification. you got to be able to create double-digit returns because Fidelity, Vanguard, Schwab, they don't care. And here's the reasons why. Now we're going to break down numbers. <clears throat> According to Fidelity and CNBC, go Google these numbers. These are not numbers I don't have to say out loud. I literally got this from search a search. In 2024, by the end of the fourth quarter, all IRAs and 401ks, 401ks, I'm sorry, in particular, had 135,000. IRAs had 130 average, and 403Bs had 115. Fast forward to 2022, there was a drop off of 23%, again, according to Fidelity. 20% within IRAs, 19% within 403Bs. Fast forward to 2023. I just mentioned it dropped 23%, but there was a bounce back of 14% within 403, I'm sorry, 401ks, 12% within IRAs, and roughly about 11% within 403Bs. Great. But this is where I think this is the most powerful slide that we have within this presentation. Because most investors don't realize what they're giving up. What's your most important asset, Lauren, would you say? Is it money or time? Time. Time. Time is your most important asset. So when all of your money sits within a 401k, you lose control. If I told you there were 12 recessions in the last 50 years, which I'm obviously not going to go through all 50 recessions, but many of us remember the 2008 crash, right? where people lost 57% of their 401ks and there was nothing that they could do about it. So imagine if you were thinking about retirement or approaching retirement, you were 58, 59 years old, you're approaching retirement and you had $500,000 inside your 401k and it literally went to half. It took 4.3 years of your life to get to that break even point, which means that person that thought about retiring at 60, now is gonna have to retire at 64. Fast forward to 2022, the pandemic. The S&P 500 lost 20%. I just clearly told you that in 2022, you lost 20, the IRA lost 20%. It bounced back 14%. And year to date, it's up 6% as of, I believe, yesterday morning, 401ks. But what I'm trying to say is you are still at that break-even point, if not a percentage less. I don't know what the rest of this year is going to entail. We don't know who's going to become the president. I don't, like, as you all know, Lauren, I'm dealing with the Democratic National Convention. It's chaos here in Chicago. I can't wait to leave half the time. But here's the point I'm trying to make. You lost three years of your life to get back to that break-even point. Because the ugly truth is these plans are designed to benefit them. They do this through artificial restrictions. And by the way, be very, very careful. Most, they've just recently, Lauren, I don't know if you know this, but I've seen, been seeing this more often. Fidelity, Vanguard, Schwab, and other classical brokerage firms have been teaching their fiduciaries and registered investment advisors to say, we offer self-directed retirement accounts here. Why are they sending it over to, you know, IRA club? What they're basically telling their clients is you could choose from our pool of investments. But if you were to tell your client, I found this investment opportunity with 7E, that's offering eight, nine, 10% returns on investment, they're gonna say what to you, Lauren, if you had a 401k. You can't do that. Yep. Can't do that. It's not part, it's not part of the of the pool of investments that we have. What they should be saying is you have to roll it over to a self-directed IRA company, a true self-directed IRA company. The average 401k starting balance in 2022 
we said was 135, 130 within an IRA. And I'm talking about all retirement accounts outside of minor accounts. So this was the average of what we see here at the IRA club. Numbers don't lie. We could see everything here. Versus we said 2022, take a look. It went up to 284 versus it dropped down 20% within the 401k and IRA. 2023, just under 290. Why? Because they're just simply in control of their retirement accounts. That's it. They're diversifying it. And here's another ugly truth. What if I told you there are 65 million IRA accounts across the country? of which only 2 million of those accounts have a million dollars or more. That's it. Of 65 million IRA accounts, only have only 2 million accounts have a million dollars or more. What are the 63 million accounts doing wrong that the 2 million accounts are doing right? They're just investing their way through self-direction. Jim, here are the fees we're going to talk about. Let's break this down real fast. The average 401k, go Google these numbers too. Within the first five years, they will eat you alive at 4.2%. 62% of Americans don't even know where to find these fees. 18% of Americans actually know how to calculate these fees. But when you take a look at the national average within the first five years, it's 4.2%. These are the fees you need to be aware of. 1215 Bs, upfront low fees, redemption fees, back end, exchange fees. Make sure you know what these fees are. I refer to them as termites. They just nitpick at your retirement account, but they traditionally tack up to be somewhere between one to 3%. So think about that. For every $100,000 that you have at Fidelity, Vanguard, and Schwab, they are taking a bare minimum, national average, 1500 bucks. Always know that. Versus IRA club. <clears throat> IRA club is a flat fee model. We don't believe in percentages. It's $195 to become an IRA club member. And each investment is $195 per asset. So per alternative, a house on 123 Green Street was $195. If you invest with 7E, that's $195. If you do a life settlement, that's $195. If you do oil and gas deals, that's $195. Just think of the Costco model or the Amazon model. That's what I like to tell people. That's how IRA Club makes its money. So let's take down that structure. Same concept, 100000 You have a, an account that you roll over from Fidelity, Vanguard, and Schwab for the next 10 years at 10%. IRA Club will save you just under $70,000 in fee structure alone. But imagine if you made 12% returns, 14 or 16% returns. You could potentially save $110,000 in fees. This is not Lauren's money. This is not my money. That's your money that they're taking away from you. So understand the differences between percentage-based models and flat fee models is huge when you're looking at things, again, decade by decade. So what does the IRA club offer you? It is a white glove service, a true white glove service. Lauren knows us about our company. We're not a call center. You call, you get the receptionist. You ask to speak to your IRA club representative. Remember that your money's FDIC insured. Remember that we have a trading platform. We offer, in fact, we're the first self-direct IRA company to offer an AI-driven uh, platform called Smartfolios with a tech company that we partner with called iFlip that's been around for nine years. So again, we don't have a problem with the stock market. We learn how to use it. So if you're getting a dividend from, say, Lauren for 10%, you could throw it and choose a stock option. The money stays all in-house. It officially makes it a one-stop shop, if that's what you want to call it. It's an easy, e -line, uh, sorry, streamlined process through E-Line 6E. E, wow, I can't even talk anymore, Lauren. E uh, signature processes all across the board. Everything we do is encrypted. Tax reporting is all done by the IRA club, including the 1099R, 5500 forms. Um, and remember the fee structure that we talked about? It's flat fees. And what does the process look like again? Open, fund, invest. It will take you 8 to 12 minutes of your time to open up an account. All we need you to have and be prepared with is a government-issued ID, your beneficiary's information, your social security number, and your most recent statement, unless you're making a contribution. Part two is funding. Only three ways that you could contribute uh, to an IRA or 401k. Contributions, 
which I just explained what they are, unless you qualify for a solo 401k. And if you do qualify for a solo 401k, I highly recommend the solo 401k versus the IRA. Uh, much higher contribution limits. You don't have to worry about UBIT or UDFI, and you could borrow against it. Not that you should ever be borrowing against your retirement account. IRA to IRA transfers or old employer plans. And the last thing which I can't do for you is choose the investment. That's where you reach out to Laurel, Lauren and her team. I said Laurel, sorry. Oh, Lauren. good. I get Laura all the time. So Laurel, time. One. I'll take it. <laughs> Jim, this is for you, okay? Because we are dealing with a reggae and I really want to help not just the accredited, but the non-accredited investors. And Lauren, you mentioned your minimum was $5,000. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yep. It wouldn't make sense for me to charge you $195 for a membership fee and $195 for the asset fee. So for 7E clients, it's $150, including the asset fee. Lauren, is this one of the cheapest fees you've ever seen in our industry? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, it is. It is. And I, I will smart. say, like, you know, we, I have, you know, I'm going to put this disclaimer out there. Everyone's got to do their own due diligence and, yes, yes. you know, or find a, you know, if they, you want a self-directed account, do your own research. Um, but I, we bring on partners that we've met, we've spoken with in person. So, you know, I visited the offices. It is you know, you are speaking with human beings when you call in. It's not a big call center. Um, and there's not a lot of automated, automated, you know, press this, press that, you know, so you're speaking with a person um, and just kind of the alignment of really wanting to help not only accredited and high net worth, but really educate and give opportunity to accredited and non-accredited investors. So yeah. yeah. And that's uh, one, honestly, one of the reasons why we really, really appreciate you guys. And it's not, it's like, listen, I'm going to be upfront, Lauren. I, I don't, I don't care about $150. I swear to you, it's not about $150. It's about getting the word out because once you learn this concept, what you're going to do is you're going to educate your spouse, your kids, your grandkids, your friends, and it becomes a domino effect. All right. I know what's funny is I was just thinking, I'm going to take this webinar and send it out to my old colleagues that aren't on our email list, because I feel like this would be a very educational tool for them, especially now where people are switching jobs, getting laid off, yeah. how do you hold retire 401ks, what are they going to do with them? You know, so yeah. Yep. And, and it all starts with just scanning this QR code. So what we did was we developed an actual landing page strictly for your team, Lauren, where if you scan this QR code, I could go through it in a split second. But you need to use the promo code 7E. Otherwise, we don't know that it came from 7E to offer you that $150. But you could also schedule a call with our client care team. In particular, Mandy uh, and her team based out in Idaho Falls. Um, we actually have, it's her, um, Sabrina. Jesus, I don't even remember all the my, my team members uh, in Idaho Falls. Um, Lily. Obviously, Mandy, schedule a call with them because you may not know what type of retirement account you want to move over. And keep in mind, you don't like Lauren said earlier, you don't have to roll over everything over to the IRA club. You could wet your beak like you could just move over 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 if you want at a time and then diversify it any way you see fit. We have thousands of clients here that have accounts in multiple different places. So Keep in mind, it starts with onboarding. So Mandy is the person that you want to uh, get in contact with. Schedule a call with her. Visit iraclub.com. You could schedule a call with her there or any one of our team members. Um, and then lastly, once the account is opened, don't worry about anything else. We'll do the funding for you. Um, if you have an old employer's plan, we do have an ACAT system. Not that I want to get into this, Lauren, but we could actually physically go and move funds over, not just funds, but stock options over to the IRA club, because we have a trading platform. You could sell the stocks on our trading platform and go do alternative investments. So there's a lot of things that we offer here within the, you know, the IRA club, but you need to sit down and talk to us, spend about 10, 15, 20 minutes of your time. Everyone's goals and situations are different from the next, if that helps. Um, and then lastly, sorry, go ahead, Lauren. Questions. Someone asked if you could go back to the URL on the last scratch and we'll send yeah. this out, the recording out um as well but yeah this is the url so someone asked that and yep. then two questions about uh fees and 
how it works. So Jim asked, so the 190, 195 fee is one time or annual. If you have more than a single investment with 70, is each individual investment a separate $195 fee? This is a special offer strictly and only to 7E investors. It's $100 for the membership and $50 per investment. I do not offer this to anybody else because I'm really trying to help the non-accredited investors here. The people that only take advantage of self-directed retirement accounts are accredited investors only. And that bothers me deep down inside because the truth is less than 9% of Americans are accredited. And for those, Lauren, that don't know the differences between accredited and non-accredited, can you please explain that? Yeah, so an accredited investor, you have to have a net worth if you're an individual earner, or sorry, a we'll start net worth of a million dollars excluding your primary residence or a income for the last three years of 200K if you're a single income earner or 300K if you're a dual income household. So and I just I want, I'm not sure if you said um, of, uh, not including your primary residence. I'm not sure yeah, if you said that. The net worth no. doesn't include the value of your primary residence. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Just want to make sure. So again, it's, 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 you know, many of us, and I said the average Americans only got $38,000 really inside an IRA, 401k, all qualified retirement accounts. So if your minimum investment, Lauren, is, you know, $5,000, how can I charge $195 for the membership fee and $195? You won't make anything. So that's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. So leading it, I'm sorry, one. No, oh, yeah. So just to recap that it was $100 plus $50 for the each investment if you're a 70 investor. Correct. If you're a 70 investor, it's $100 for the membership and each asset is $50, which by the way, if you ever wanted to use our trading platform, it's for free. We don't charge an asset fee. Okay. Now, iFlip does charge a subscription agreement, which is $7 a month, but IRA Club does not make a single penny, not a dollar, if you guys want to use our trading platform. Why? Because if, like Lauren, for example, is giving you a dividend every single month, you got 5,000, 7,000, 10,000, 12,000. What do you think our IRA Club members are doing? They're shifting it back over to Fidelity, Vanguard, and Schwab. You don't need to do that with us. You could keep it in-house here, grow it, so you could reapply it into the next deal. There is one thing that I wanted to drive home before we go to Q&A, and Lauren, correct me if I'm wrong. I wanted to introduce you, before I jump into the question, I wanted to introduce you to the youngest IRA club member, 27 days old. Her name is Ava Marie Fakori. She's my daughter. Can minors invest in 70s reggae? Minors cannot invest in 70s reggae, but you can be invest like on behalf of your minor so you could invest on behalf of your minor so let's just say if a minor wanted to open up a raw fire egg mm -hmm. and uh, uh an individual put seven thousand dollars on behalf of their child let's say ramis for Corey put seven thousand dollars inside ava's account can i invest on behalf of ava's raw fire egg within the uh within the reggae well, that's a good question i've never had that question come up from a roth account so or from a qualified account I believe yeah. yes, because you are still the, you are over age. <laughs> yeah, I'm over age. So you're essentially the owner of it. She is the beneficiary. Yeah, well, no, no. She is the owner. I am the beneficiary until she's 18 years old. Correct. Okay. So, yep. Got it. So, so, yeah. so can, I'm just asking maybe me to make a, make yeah. sure that your compliance team to, to yeah. ask them that question. Yeah, I'll look into that. That's a unique one. Okay, yeah. awesome. And, and by the way, whoever's listening to this, even if Lauren hypothetically says, no, you cannot invest oh, within the right. My team says yes. <laughs> See, the team said yes. Thank God you guys are all listening. Thank you guys. Here's the point I'm trying to make. If you were to open up a Roth IRA for your children the day that they're born, and let's say $7,000 increase it, and you were to hit same concept from the, the age they were at, one years old, until they qualify to touch the money at 59 and a half, 10%. All you would have to do is make that initial contribution of $7,000, nothing else. Leave it alone. Just under $2 million within a Roth IRA tax-free. Picture that. As much as I love all you guys that are listening to me, I will give your child a free IRA account their first year 
with the IRA club. And then you could throw them inside that $150. Just, I really want children to get involved in this because they have something you don't have. And that's time, the power of compounding. Anyways, Lauren, I hope that was really educational. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Yeah, um, um, so we have some questions. The please. membership fee is yearly, yes? Yes, it is. It is a yearly fee. So um, if it is yearly, it stays at 100 or does it go to 150 Nope, no, no, no. So forgive me. It's $100 for the membership fee and $50 for the asset fee. And that's for 70 investors? Only for 70 investors. Okay. So if you have to invest with 7E, I mean that respectfully, why? Because they have a reggae offering, which are, excuse my French again, damn near impossible to get. Reggae's are super hard to get. So I know this firsthand because I travel all over the country. There are so many Reg D offerings, whether it's a 506B or 506C. But live live reggae's, um, Lauren, you may help me on this. I think it's like under 3,000 across the country. It could be even less than that right now. But yeah, they're very- many. Yeah, they're not that many. They're very hard to come by. Even though you may file for one, they're not typically active or actually taking on funds. Yeah. So um, that's why I'm trying to think about you guys, meaning the non-accredited investors. Awesome. And then it's that 70 pricing stays at that, correct? Yes, stays at that forever. Now, if you go do another alternative investments, like you grow it, Yep. Right. Whether you use the, our stock market option yep. for free or whatever, and you do it, to, then it's still $50. Okay. So, the so only- that's, that's a good point to make. So it's not just 70. So if I say, actually, let's walk through this. So I currently have a 70 investment and I'm said, okay, awesome. I want to, I'm with XYZ, you know, custodian. I want to roll it into this. Mm-hmm. And it might be another self-directed custodian. So it doesn't even have to just be Schwab. It could be another self-directed custodian. Yeah, 100%. Say, say they're coming from another self-directed, they're invested with 70. That's one thing. They're paying the $100 annual fee and then $50 for 70 investments and other alts that they decide to do. All other alternatives. As long as you invest, the first time that you invest with 70, yep. all the rest of your asset classes that you decide to invest in are 50 bucks per asset class. So that's huge. And then what if I'm sitting here and I've been thinking about either investing with 70, investing with a qualified account and with 70, mm-hmm. and I, but I don't have a 70 investment yet, but I want to get started and I've decided to open up an account um, with IRA club. Does that pricing no. still apply? No. So you must okay. invest with 70. The whole point of this Correct. is to get the non-accredited investors to think outside the box and offer them something that was very aggressive. Um, And it's, again, trust me when I tell you, it's not about the 150 bucks. I want you guys to think not just stock market, look at alternatives. Otherwise you're not going to retire when you wanna retire. So the point I'm trying to make is if you start with 70, you start doing alternatives with them to start, and then you start looking at buying a house on one, two, three Green Street, no. Actually, yeah. I need to take a step back. But if they back. don't have, yeah, because, but if they don't Not, have a- it, it, it applies to everything outside a house. So another private equity deal, let's say, is $50. If they do an oil and gas deal, $50. If they want to do a life in, a life settlement deal, $50. So whatever it is that they want to invest in, it's $50 more. So can I just mention one thing, Lauren, yeah. you said other self-directed IRA companies, and I know where you're, what you're trying to drive home right now at this point. I love my industry. I want to be very clear, <clears throat> love our industry because we're educators at the end of the day, we can never choose the investment for the investor. But one of the things that is bothering me about my own industry is many of them within the last five years are switching over to a percentage based model, not a flat fee model. So you need to be careful. Um, if that makes sense to everybody that's listening. Uh, so I, I just to drive one last thing home, you're not going to beat it. There's no pricing at 150 across our industry. I promise you that. I know everybody's pricing by heart. Lauren knows that. So it's just to get you guys started to think outside the box. That's That's what I'm trying to drive home here. Yeah. But if someone is, I guess, because we have people who are, you know, 
on this webinar that might not be investors with us, but might want to open a self-directed account and invest with us. If their first investment is with 7E, does that qualify for the pricing? If the first investment starts with 7E, that qualifies for the pricing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I wanted to make, yeah. Okay. Um, so if you are on this, and again, if you're one of those people who's thought about, I know I've spoken with quite a few people actually who've been looking into self-directed accounts. So I invited you to this webinar and you're thinking of investing with 7E, that pricing would apply again, if it was your first investment. So I think, let me see. Yeah, there's um, one that says, can the dividends be reinvested oh. without paying the uh, additional fee? The answer is yes. So if you want to reinvest in the same deal, yes. Okay. Um, our code? What is that? I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, are able to move over if they are not IRAs? Forgive me. I've never heard of As those. they are not IRAs. Right, I haven't heard of those either. I know. Forgive me. Um, someone scanned, someone said they scanned the Q love it, rich. He scanned the QR code, set up a phone call. Yeah. Set up. So oh, step number one is set up a call with Mandy. Okay. Because so many times we open up accounts, most people don't know what they have. So we want to ensure that we're opening up number one, the right type of retirement account. It's because I see people open up, they have traditional 401ks or traditional IRAs, and they're opening up Roth IRAs with us. You can't do that. It has to go from one to like one Roth to one Roth. One, if it's an old employer 401k to a traditional IRA, unless you qualify for a solo 401k. For those of you that qualify for a solo 401k, you have to be the sole proprietor uh, of a C Corp, S Corp, or LLC. Basically, meaning you have to be your own employee. Your spouse is okay. That could be added, but it's a much more powerful way to contribute more money especially if you set it up as a profit sharing. But the problem is, uh, Lauren, less than, I think, 8% of Americans qualify for a solo 401k. Um, so for someone in, this is a question, <laughs> if someone's in their mid-50s, currently has a retirement held for traditionally, held primarily in traditional and Roth IRAs, will I be able to transfer a small part into 7E or is the best option to open a self-directed IRA first, even if it's only 5 to 10K to start? My challenge yes. is has been most of my retirement is where I can't touch it without penalty. Okay. So, but you said IRA. So if you have an IRA, you can touch it. If you have an old employer 401, I'm so sorry. If you have a current 401k, you could not touch it. Okay. If you have an old employer 401k, you can move that over to the IRA club. And to your point, yes, it's worth it five to $10,000. You're diversifying your retirement portfolio. That's the whole name of the game. You don't have to move over everything over to the IRA club. So, um, and and maybe you set up a call with Mandy, uh, and let's let's talk about it. Let's 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 just break down like the objective. What are like I said? What are the goals? What are you trying to move over? How much are you trying to diversify? And we could even break down charts for you to see what that kind of looks like. Yeah, and actually, I actually, Ramon, I have a call with you tomorrow, so we can talk tomorrow about what it looks like with seventy. You can set up a call with IRA club. Um, and kind of evaluate all your options there. So awesome. Uh, what what I'm also doing for those people that couldn't um, scan the QR code, if this is okay, I'm going to put it inside the chat for everybody just because they could click onto it just to make their lives easier. Paste. Um, and let me just make sure I hit everybody. And it's inside the chat. So you guys could, like I said, start off by scheduling a call. And if you guys are tech savvy, just go ahead and get started. Remember. Yeah. Promo code 7E. You have to put in the promo code 7E. And if you can't figure it out, I'm sure they can schedule a call and walk through that. Oh, um, yeah. Just say you saw this webinar. And then someone asked again, are the fees annual? Yes, the membership fee is annual. The asset fee is, again, as you invest. So and, and, listen, and and forgive me, Lauren, I'm going to cut you off. When you're having that conversation with Mandy, ask her for the fee structure and she'll give it to you guys. Awesome. Well, if there's no other questions, um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, we'll send this out, a replay of this. Um, and if you'll see the QR codes on there, because you can always scan them in the replay or the link was just dropped in the chat. If you can click on that, you'll be able to schedule a call with a IRA club member. So again, thanks so much, Ramez, for joining thank, us today. Thank you. thank you everyone for attending and have a great rest of your week. Likewise. Thank you guys. Thanks. Bye.